Welcome to the Lakers News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. Lakers Recently News Today report brings you the latest updates and hot debates about the team's future. Are the Lakers ready to make a big move in the trade market? With a promising start to the season, but signs of potential adjustments to the roster, a big question looms. Is it time to act now or wait until the trade deadline? Let's explore the most strategic options and the impact each decision can have on the path to the title. Despite being in good form with 11 wins and only 4 losses, rumors indicate that the Lakers' management is actively seeking a center to strengthen the team. This suggests that, despite early success, there is concern about the depth of the roster, especially at critical positions. But were the options on the market, and do they make sense? Let's start with Dupe Reef, an undervalued player in Portland. Although underutilized, he stands out for his three-point shooting and athleticism, qualities that are rare in modern centers. It would be a low-cost reinforcement, but one that offers great potential to improve floor spacing. Another intriguing option is Nick Richards from the Charlotte Hornets. With a strong defensive presence and solid shot-blocking skills, he could fill defensive gaps for the Lakers. However, would the trade cost justify the investment? On the other hand, players like Walker Kessler and even Bobby Portis appear as bolder, but more expensive alternatives. Kessler has an attractive defensive profile, but his high price might make negotiations difficult. Portis, with his experience and ability to play multiple offensive roles, could be a perfect fit, but the chances of him being available are still uncertain. And what about Jared Vanderbilt? His recovery from injury is taking longer than expected, and his absence is creating a void in the roster. Should the Lakers bet on an immediate reinforcement to cover for his absence or wait for his return in ideal condition? With so many variables at play, the Lakers' decision in the trade market will be crucial to their ambitions this season. What do you think? Should the team take the risk and pursue a trade now or wait for the right moment? Leave your comment and share your opinion. Although all these options are interesting, the current state of the trade market is not very favorable. As mentioned earlier, significant moves typically happen closer to the trade deadline when teams are more inclined to adjust their rosters or accept proposals they might not have considered before. For the Lakers, this means they may need to be patient and wait for the right window to find a player that will truly complement the team. With that in mind, the focus right now should remain on Jared Vanderbilt's recovery and the integration of available players on the current roster. Defensive consistency and improving team chemistry are aspects that can be worked on while the market is still cold. At the same time, management can continue monitoring names like Bobby Portis, Nick Richards, and others while planning strategies that come to fruition early next year. Additionally, it's worth reflecting on how Jared Vanderbilt's return could influence the roster's dynamics. He is a versatile defender, capable of guarding multiple positions, and his energy on the court often positively impacts the team. When healthy, Vanderbilt can relieve some of the defensive load on Anthony Davis, allowing him to focus more on his offensive production. However, even with Vanderbilt back, the need for a solid and reliable center remains a concern. Jackson Hayes has shown flashes of potential, but he's still inconsistent, and Christian Wood, despite contributing offensively, isn't known for his defense in the paint. This reinforces the need to seek an external solution, either through a trade or by exploring the free agent market. Another important point to consider is how these moves would affect the team's chemistry. The current core of the Lakers has shown good cohesion, with LeBron James and Anthony Davis leading, and players like Austin Reeves and D'Angelo Russell finding their roles. Adding a new player always carries the risk of upsetting that dynamic, but if it's someone like Bobby Portis or Nick Richards who fit well into specific roles, the impact could be overwhelmingly positive. Ultimately, the path to the title comes down to balancing patience and proactivity. While major trades typically happen closer to the deadline, Management needs to be prepared to act if an opportunity arises that makes sense now. For the fans, the expectation is that the Lakers continue exploring all options to improve the roster, whether with the addition of a center, the return of Vanderbilt, or internal adjustments. Lakers fans, do you think a name like Bobby Portis could be the missing piece for the team? Or do you think we should look for internal solutions while we wait for the market to heat up? Leave your comments, and let's discuss the future of the team together. As a Lakers fan... I believe the team is in a very interesting position right now. The 11-4 record shows that we have a strong core, but we can't ignore the gaps that could become problematic in more decisive games. The absence of a reliable center to complement Anthony Davis 
and the delay in Jared Vanderbilt's return are real concerns, especially when thinking about the playoffs, where every detail matters. If I were to bet on an immediate move, I would love to see someone like Bobby Portis on the roster. He brings exactly what we need, consistent three-point shooting, versatility to play with LeBron and AD, and a grit-and-grind mentality that always pairs well with the Lakers' spirit. Of course, the price would be a decisive factor, but if we can adjust contracts and offer something of value without compromising the future, he would be a fantastic fit. Regarding more affordable names like Nick Richards or Dup Reef, they are interesting options, but I wonder if they would really be significant solutions. Richards, for example, has a defensive profile the team likes, but lacks the high-level playoff experience. Dup Reef would be a low-risk gamble, but I'm hesitant about his impact in a rotation that's already looking for consistency. On the other hand, maybe the best approach is to wait for the trade market near the deadline. At that time, prices drop and better options might arise. I also think that, until then, we can better evaluate the development of players like Jackson Hayes and Christian would to decide whether we really need external reinforcements or if the current roster can grow together. In the end, I'm confident that the Lakers' management has shown intelligence in their decision-making in recent years. But, as a fan, I'm anxious to see how the team will deal with these challenges because we know the goal isn't just to make the playoffs, it's to win another title. What do you think, Lakers Nation? Should we be patient or is it time to pursue a strong name to reinforce the team? I can't wait to read your thoughts.